nothing went in or out of West Berlin. The Soviet leaders were determined to starve out the city by blockading it. The Allies then responded with the great humanitarian effort known as the Berlin Airlift. When the Soviets blocked the accommodation ways to Berlin so that no food could reach the population, the Allies put up an airlift. A plane landed every third minute and brought food to the city. Here are perhaps the most dramatic scenes ever to come out of Berlin. Tossing belongings from the window of an apartment overlooking the western border and freedom, an escapee is prepared to jump to safety into a net held by police and firemen of West Berlin. Berlin. Now, and here is a rescue episode that is even more extraordinary. An attempt is being made by sympathetic Germans to assure the escape of a brave woman. While communist police try to pull her back through the window, below there is freedom's grip, a blood-chilling sequence that the news of the day camera follows to its dramatic conclusion. Hundreds of spectators on both sides of the wall watched the drama as the young man lay dying. West Berliners couldn't reach him. The guards on the eastern side were frightened that they would be shot by the Americans if they tried to retrieve him. And so Peter Fechter died at the foot of the Berlin Wall. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. sind Ruhe und Ordnung scheinbar wiederhergestellt, bis eine einzelne Frau erscheint, DDR-Bürgerin, die ums Leben einmal unterm Brandenburger Tor durchlaufen möchte, zu spät. Noch zögern die Grenzer, sie haben ihre Anweisungen, doch sie wissen, dass sie hier auf verlorenem Posten stehen. Und sie verstehen es, die DDR-Grenzsoldaten. Die Frau wird von einem Offizier zum Brandenburger Tor geleitet. 